What's going on, guys? DT Fang back again with another episode of Farm Sim 22, Green Valley, Nebraska. Today, we're uh, actually we got a call from Jake, the formal pickle. Uh, he needs some help at his warehouse, and since I am familiar with you know moving moving pallets and things like that, uh, I told him that we would come down there and give him a hand. So. Uh, make sure, guys, if you like today's video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up on the uh, video and consider subscribing to the channel. That would be awesome. I would appreciate it. It really helps me out, helps out the channel a lot. All right, so we are headed down the road here. We're going to be there in just a couple of minutes here and find out exactly what kind of help he needs. Pretty sure it's going to be loading up a truck. I know he's got he's got a warehouse there uh, that's got a couple of trucks that are probably needing to be loaded. I think his guy called in sick or something today. Uh, he didn't really tell me what's going on, but... Uh, you know, since we're right around the corner here and we're familiar with it, we can go ahead and uh, give him a hand. And guys, looks like we are here. Nebraska Wheat is his facility, so we're going to pull in here and all the way around the back side is where he told me to go. Oh, looks like he's already out there and ready to go with a forklift. Let me park her up here and uh, see if we can't get out and help him. All right, shut off the truck. There he is. Hey, man, how's it going? Hey, not so bad. Was just about to wash this forklift before we get started today. Yeah. So yep, yep. They were the, a little dirty. Yeah, they get that way in that warehouse, all that box dust. What? Uh, so what are we going to be doing today? Well, we've got uh, probably good 200 or so pallets that we got to load whoa, 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 on whoa, out whoa, whoa, today. Whoa. Did sell. you? Wait, wait, wait. 200 pallets? Well, I'm, you know, I haven't counted them yet, but yeah, it's got to be something round there. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> I'm here to help. Put me to work. All right. So right in here, they got to use this forklift that yep. I've got ready to go for you. Yep. And we're loading up these pallets here. Any pallet that is this brand of, uh, of whole grain flour. All right. Okay. That's what we're going to be loading out today. We've got a truck already pulled up to this far dock over here. Yep, gotcha. He's a live load. He's ready to go um, for 2.30. So if you want to go ahead and start loading them now, 10 minutes early, that's just fine. Okay. All right. You're going to be Sounds squeezing good. on about 32 pallets. It's going to be a full load. I'm behind you here. Oh. There you are. Ah. Yeah. 32 pallets is going to be a full load on these trailers. So we've got quite a few loads to go through. Okay. All right. Well, I'll get to it then, and uh, I'll see you when you get back with the... Uh with the other yeah, forklift. yeah. So I'm gonna get the other one washed, and then I'm gonna hop in the yard dog, pull around a, a an empty trailer, and that one's gonna be ready for a drop and hook later. Oh, okay. So we've got time on that one, so that one can wait. But this guy's waiting on us now. So. Yep. yep. Okay. All right. I'll get going. All right. Need anything? Just holler. I'll do it. All right. Get the old forklift cranked up here. The light on for safety. Get the other lights on so we can see. And let's see here. So we've got that one to load up. I guess we'll start with the closest. Yeah, let's go ahead and start with the closest ones. We've got the forks lined up right here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, start down here. Pull that one back. Yep. We'll take this one in there, drop it down. Okay, one down, 199 to go. Now, this gets a little tricky trying to get this lined up inside the truck without, let's see if I can get this in through here. Yeah, that's looking good. Oops, oops, a little too high, a little too high. Back up. Hold on, what's going on? There we go. go all the way to the wall and drop it down and there we go all right okay so it's actually easier to stack them inside the truck than it is outside of the truck and then trying to get them in there um they don't behave correctly sometimes the other way around so that's why we're doing it this way that looks like jake's in the yard dog they're bringing the other trailer back let's see here this lined up right in here on the top of the bottom. I can't remember. Didn't I just do one on the top? 
Yeah, I did. This one needs to be a line. Line these all up. And I'm trying to push them pretty good every time. Uh, well, well, yeah, let me push that one all the way. Get all the way back to the end here. There we go. Nice and lined up. How's that uh, forklift going over there? Are you getting the hang of it? Oh, it's going. Yeah, I've, dri I've driven this one before, a time or two. Yeah. Good old These red are and good green. Forklifts. They're just, uh, I wish I could find one that fits in the trailer a little better, you know? Yeah, the, the it wouldn't be so bad except for the, the forks. Uh, it's not so much the lift portion, it's the, like the fork attachment itself at the front. It, that's what hits the, the ceiling when you raise it up. It's not the, the lift part. Right. Like where it says right. lizard, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, it's definitely, it's the forks. They got that extended height there. Yeah, if that wasn't um, there, which, I think it would be good. Yeah, I get why they're there. They're there for when you have your double stacking your pallets. Right, and it, it right. It works great for that, but right. unfortunately, that causes a major issue when you're trying to stack in the trailer. Yes, it does, and you got to be just perfect with how high you're putting the forks. Yep, otherwise you tap that top of that trailer, which I do quite often, to be honest. Yep, I do too. Just like that. <laughs> But unfortunately, you just can't quite stack outside the trailer. I mean, you can. It's just uh, you got to be a little careful. Yeah, it doesn't like it too so. much. They're they're still, unfortunately, not great. Uh, they're better than they used to be as far as the pallets coming on and off the ports and stuff. But oh yeah, much they're better. Still, they're it's still not, not perfect. perfect. No. I will say though, it's nice having them on these racks. That really really helps out quite a bit. Yeah, it does. Keeps them, uh, keeps them out of the middle of the floor, for sure. But that way you're not having to skirt around them too much in the forklift. Right. Which is never fun. So, once that live load is, uh, is ready to go, I'll go ahead and run that down to the cell point. Okay. And we'll have you, uh, you'll finish up the, this trailer here that I'm working on. Okay. And then once you got this trailer finished up, you're gonna set it somewhere out in the yard, and you're gonna grab another trailer, and you're gonna pull it back with the yard dog. Okay, sounds good. Where, now, where's the is the yard dog connected to it right now, or? Nope, the yard jockey is just parked in its little electric stall right out. Uh, you'll see it when you go out that back door okay. there. All right. So, Jake, what do you think you're gonna get off a full trailer load of this stuff? Oh, the way market's selling right now, I'd put her. We're probably gonna get about thirty thousand a trailer. Thirty thousand, so you'll clear about a thousand after you pay me. Right. Mm. Gotcha. Right. Right. Gotcha. I don't know, boss. I feel like I already pay you guys pretty <laughs> generously. <laughs> Yeah, if, uh, for those of you who don't know, we're, uh, since Jake is doing all the productions, he's buying pretty much all of our crops. Uh, just about all of them. So I've already sold him corn, dry corn, oats, uh, and he makes the flour that we're actually loading up right now. And just like that, guys, looks like this is our last pallet going on this truck. So let me see if I can't get this one lined up in here. And we'll go ahead and pull this trailer around and get it out of the way. Actually, this is the live load, I believe. So let me let me get this last pallet in here. All right, and that looks pretty good there. Let's go ahead and check. Let's go ahead and strap this one down. We'll get to it. Yep, there we go. All right, the back is strapped down. Uh, Did I hear you say you got the last one in there? Yes, sir. The last one. Where are you? Uh, over here. I Sorry. hear you. I hear you. Oh, Screaming you at you across the warehouse. There you are. Yep, last one is on. That is a truckload full. All right. I'll tell you what. I'm going to get that truck moving if you want to finish loading this one up. And then once it's loaded up, hit it with the yard jockey, pull it around, park it, grab another trailer, back it on in, and start on that one. Okay. Um, and uh, then I'll get back up here, and I'll swap you out. Okay, and then you'll take that truck that you, that trailer that you previously filled up, and you'll take it down to sell. Yeah, go ahead and pull her on out. All right, here we go. All right, here, let me get the doors. Sure. All right, go ahead. Yeah, there's that one, and that one, and sealed up. All right, tap, tap, you're good to go. 
All right, appreciate it. Don't hit the road. And rinse and repeat, everyone. All right, we'll get a few more of these loaded, and I'll be back with you as soon as uh, we get the rest of the truck loaded. All right, looks like we got the last two pallets going in right now. Let's be very careful, make sure we get them in here. And that is going to do it for this trailer. All right, let's back out. Go ahead and pull it out a little bit, and we're going to get rid of this one. Uh, let me hop down here. Oh, I got to go get the yard dog. That's right. Right there, charging up. Go ahead and hop back up in here. Yeah, yeah. And there we go. All right, check this puppy out. I don't think I've ever driven one of these. This will be pretty sweet. Uh, nice and quiet. Go ahead and turn the safety light on. All right, go ahead and pull up over here. Get this trailer out of the way, parked in a spot. And then I think he's bringing back another one for a, a second live load, if I'm not mistaken. All right, let me go ahead and drop down the back end. There we go. Let's go ahead and hook her on up. Ooh, that is close to that front end there. All right, doors are closed. Go ahead and pull this bad boy around. And we are just going to probably park this bad boy up on the other side around here. Back her on up in here. Oh, that was a tight fit. All right, right there, drop it off. We're good to go. And I think we're going to go ahead and pull around this other one for the next load up, if I'm not mistaken. All right, we got this one connected. Let's go ahead and pull this one on around, back it up to the dock door, and then he'll be able to continue loading. So if we can't back her on in there. Whoops, I'm a little bit off center. There we go. So let me go ahead and pull out a little bit, hop on out. There we go. Yep, walk down. There's that. Okie dokie. All right, boss. A fresh clean trailer for you here. Yep. All right. Hey, if uh, I've got a truck sitting right out in front of uh, the trailer that I pulled that we last load, if you want to go ahead, hook up to that trailer that we uh, we loaded empty earlier. Uh huh. And uh, you want to take that down to Wendy's in, in that town north of us here. Okay. I'll get this one loaded up. Okay. Nope. I'll do it. Uh, paperwork in the seat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's all right there on the. Uh, the iPad. We do digital now. Oh, that's right. Okay. All right. So it looks like it's this one right here. Let's go ahead and, yeah, we're lined up. So we can go ahead and back her on up and get connected. Yeah, we're good. Uh, back her on up, get connected. Good to go. And we're going to drop this off at the Wendy's. All right, boys, we're going to be pulling out of here. We'll be heading north. And we're going to have to look around town. There's so many different shops around. I'm not sure exactly where the Wendy's is. I haven't ever been there. But we're going to find out here shortly. Whoop, there's a stop sign. But we'll go ahead and turn her on up here. Looks like we're going to be going past Cap's place. The guys, I got about halfway there and realized that I am hauling an empty trailer. I thought it was taking those corners really well. So we're back here, and we're going to go ahead and drop this one back off and pick up the correct trailer, which should be right next to it. It's the one that I put in place. All right. Whoop. Okay, back that one in. Go ahead and disconnect this one. All right, shimmy over here. Get the full one here. All right, yeah, this one feels like it's got a little bit more weight to it, so there we go. Let's see here if this isn't the right one. Yeah, there we go. That's the one I loaded up, so this one's full. So here we go. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and shut those doors and get on down to Wendy's. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the hazards, and here is the Wendy's right here. Well, guys, dropping this off is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I would appreciate it. Special thanks to the formal pickle. Until next time, DT Fang. We'll see you on the next one.